well documented. It was the uh, the unifier of Norway, the first uh, first king to really unify the whole Norway, and he was uh, on the throne for I don't know 50 years, and he died like when he was eight or something crazy old at that time. So there's a lot of uh, uh, material of him, and of course. Uh, the Herald that I portray in, in the series is a uh, fiction slash reality kind of a guy, but uh, uh, I had a lot of material to dwell into. Uh, yeah, well, I had a little disease that I had to figure out. Uh, so uh, it's called osteogenesis imperfecta in Latin, it's brittle bone disease. And uh, I uh, do not suffer from little bone disease, so I had to do some research on that. And uh, I crawled around in my hotel room uh, for three weeks and yelled Icelandic lines and stuff like that. That's one part of the research. Another one is the historical part, uh, which is uh, trying to figure out why is he called out of the bone mess? Because there were a lot of different theories to that. Some said it had everything to do with impotence and some say it was because he was weirdly flexible, and uh, I'm not weirdly flexible, so I'm happy we didn't go with that one. Um, <laughs> on top of that, it's uh, it's it's obviously we have to go with the most dramatic, um, the most dramatic uh, 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 way to portray this character, and uh, that's obviously to give him a disease that should make him uh, should leave him in the woods like Ragnar did to him, and should leave him dead pretty quickly, but it's just interesting to have a historical character you know are going to do some crazy, crazy stuff and are going to accomplish a lot of stuff and doing that while suffering from a horrible disease. So uh, that's just super interesting and a privilege for an actor to be uh, able to get your, your career going. Thank you. Thank you so much.